This is not a playgroup. If, if you're not learning, there's no point in us doing this. And at the end of the day, we're bringing up uh, a generation of children that do know the truth. They won't have to be woken up because they've never been asleep. An undercover investigation by The Times has discovered a school in Manchester being run by a group of conspiracy theorists under the radar of the authorities. I applied for a teaching post at Universal Kids via an advert I saw in The Light, a newspaper that peddles conspiracies and misinformation. I was invited for an interview by Ladan Ratcliffe, a former teacher who set up the school in 2020. Hello, I'm Tom. Hi. I'm here to meet Ladan. Yeah. Hi, Madame. Hi. Hi. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Ratcliffe told me that the purpose of the school was to de-indoctrinate pupils from all of the lies that they were taught by the system. After two interviews and a trial lesson, I was then offered a position. So this is the playground, and it also grows around the side as well. She helps parents to withdraw their children from mainstream education, register as home educated, then send them to Universal Kids. Parents pay £30 a day for tuition at her school. Teachers at the school adhere to the Great Reset Theory, a conspiracy which claims that a shadowy cabal of bureaucrats and financiers are trying to depopulate and enslave the earth. They baselessly believe that toxic chemtrails dispersed by government planes and COVID vaccinations were a means for doing so. You say chemtrails are bad for Alzheimer's, for dementia, yeah. will it? Yeah. I don't know. Number one cause of dementia is uh, aluminium. And, that's, and aluminium's in the, in the chemtrails? Yeah. It used to be a conspiracy server. Yeah. Oh, chemtrail, it's chemtrail. What rot? Like, well, I know, it's easy. See that one? In fact, I showed my neighbour. There were two chemtrails and then an ordinary commercial plane going in between them. Whose tail was on that big? I said, see, that's a chemtrail. That's a chemtrail. And the one in the middle, that's a contrail. In preparation for this supposed man-made apocalypse, they instruct the children in survival techniques such as foraging and herbal medicine. They'll know how to find their own medicine, find their own food when the shit hits the fan, because they are going to force a famine on us. I mean, what they're doing with it, what well, they have been doing with farming. They're going to force a famine on us. Uh. And we will be eating each other. They're already... There's already talk of um, that sort of thing going off. During my time at the school, I watched children being taught conspiracies and pseudoscience as fact. In a history lesson in which pupils were shown how to make wartime recipes, a teacher told children that if Klaus or Gates have their way, everyone will be eating cockroaches in the future. We have a lot of cockroaches or tons of carrots. Well, cool. <laughs> I thought I was never eating a cockroach. And I never want to. Well, you might have to. You might have to. If Klaus has his way. Yeah. Or Gates, Billy. Yeah, they get their way. That's why we. That's why we've had. It's like to get me out of here for X amount of years, isn't it? To get everyone used to it. Get everybody used to the idea of eating it. So it doesn't look as mad when it says, right, time who's to eat the cockroach. Like... Klaus Schwab, chairman of the World Economic Forum, and Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, are thought by conspiracists to be the leaders of this movement to reset the world. In other classes, children were taught that they could use crystals as a way of healing illnesses. First, what well, they could be used for, they could be used to heal. But how do, how, any ideas, how do you think they could do healing for people? Yeah. 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 What, happens, what do you think happens? What happens, a pyramid draws energy from around, you know, yeah, around us. It draws energy into the point. If you put that layers around it, you can actually, the energy can go into you. So if you've got a problem sleeping, and you put them around your body because sleeping tends to be some of the overthinking or stress or an energy you don't want. These can take that energy off and it makes you go to sleep easier. Put that on your third eye. Close your eyes to tell me if you feel anything or see anything. I feel a crystal on my forehead. Get me clever. You might get a bit warm. If you get anything, any any injuries, anything, it might, these might go away. It might start healing you. 
Head teacher Ratcliffe advertises the school primarily by word of mouth, but also through social media groups for like-minded conspiracists. So many people are getting to know about our school no. we're on a smaller scale. People are getting to know either through our teachers, our parents, when they advertise in various groups and things like that. Um, Amazing, you've got people coming from, uh, from Shropshire. Yeah, yeah. There were 13 children, aged between 8 and 14, whilst I was working at the school in January, though there have been as many as 28 in the past. Despite this, Universal Kids has been able to operate for more than three years without any supervision or intervention from local authorities or Ofsted, the school's inspectorate. Have you had much trouble with Ofsted here? No, no, no. No, I've just told them we're not... We're not in the, we're not doing things that Ofsted would want. Ofsted inspectors don't have the power to force their way onto the premises of suspected illegal schools or seize incriminating materials. The inspectorate believes that there are hundreds of illegal schools in England, exploiting the fact that there is very little oversight of home educated children under current legislation. The vast majority of institutions prosecuted by Ofsted are religious schools. But in recent years, inspectors have found a growing number of non-religious schools that have been set up by individuals radicalised by the COVID-19 pandemic into an anti-state and sometimes conspiratorial ideology. I'm amazed that you, 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 know, you sort of set this all up and you do it all yourself, really. It's incredible. Uh, it, well, it's because, and you know, it's needed, isn't it? It's needed, and uh, if it to bring this change into the world that we, we want, then we have to start from round up. Mm. And it starts with, you know, the total 